morning you guys and welcome back to what is a weekly vlog. How many times have I said that I want to start weekly vlogging and don't do it? This is my official statement and commitment to doing weekly vlogs. I would ideally like them to be uploaded on Mondays but I think for the way the content's fallen so far it's going to be on a Thursday. So welcome to this week's vlog. It's currently 8.30 in the morning and I'm going to the hairdresser so my hat is on because my hair is disgusting. I don't understand people <laughs> that wash their hair, style their hair and then go to the hairdressers. I have family members and friends that do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm the person that shows up like just ignore the fact that I haven't brushed my hair in three days. But I'm getting my hair done. Later on today I'm also getting my laser done. So there's a lot going on. I kind of felt like today should be like a vlog day for that. Um, and yeah, I'll just take you throughout the next couple of days and my phone needs to stop going. <laughs> So when it comes to my hair, um, I basically ask for, to keep as much length as possible, I get my layers cut in quite short, well not short, but short-ish, um, kind of maybe like ear level. Um, I get my bangs cut in and this time I'm going to get them cut shorter than last time. And then I get balayage done for my colour, but now because I've had balayage for like two years, they just top up that colour and then put in some like highlights and baby lights throughout the top. I like to keep like my own natural colour as much as possible because um, well, the pandemic, for example, my hair grew out fine, like there was no like dodgy, like your hair's all grown out, like it was basically my hair just went back to brown, um, and that was that, but yeah, let us go. Hold me close till I get up. I'm still redecorating my house. I'm actually almost done. Um, why? Why did that noise that don't give me such a fright? I literally just opened it. Um, I am just waiting on new bedroom furniture, um, which can take between four to ten weeks, I think. So I think once that's done, I can do like a proper kind of reveal of everything I've been doing. But I think I might just do a kind of update vlog. Um, maybe next week or something, I'm not entirely sure. But I got another load of posters from Decenio, so I had to get three for my spare room that's going to turn into like a kind of filming room, um, and then two for my living room. So, um, in fact, it's not even going to be able to show you. I've opened them like this because I need to put them in the frames. Okay, I'll show you when they're in the frames because it takes far too long. Ow! Okay, so this is one of the posters. It's just a kind of vintage black and white photo of a girl taking photos. I don't know, I just thought it was really kind of with the vibe of what I do for a job, just always having a camera. They are going to go up on the wall, I've just not mounted them yet. Um, I think I will require my father <laughs> to do such a thing. And then the other one which just says, honey, your soul is golden. Because honey, it is. Maybe I'll get it from this side because of the light. Got a lot of stuff just in the way. So, yep, that's two posters there. Get them up on the wall. Um, and then this room is pretty much done. Say hello to my giant teddy. Have you ever. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I had my laser hair removal, um, which was totally fine. Um, and then I had a bubble tea stand right outside, which I had bubble tea once in my life and I liked it and I was in the mood for something sweet, but I didn't really want to go and like me I have I have chocolate raisins in my car anyway. I always have a snack, just in case. Oh my god, they've melted. Oh, oh my god, a fly landed on me. I shall call you Ben. Um so these have melted, so let's just put them in there. You just go chill on my chest because I hate to tell you there's nothing there. You think you're going to be in a mountainous terrain? You're not. You're in a U-shaped valley. Cool. Anyway, um, so I'm just heading back home now. I'm actually going to the gym tonight. Um, it's currently 5.45, so probably won't get to the gym until like 6.30. But that's the plan of this evening. It's literally 31 degrees. How is it 31 degrees? I live in Glasgow. 
not the canaries but here we go bubble tea so what bubble tea i got mango fruit tea with passion fruit bubbles something 100 sugar hopefully it's 100 percent sugar i don't know how i feel about these bubbles yeah i don't know not sure how i'm feeling on that i feel very la today i'm like laser hair removal 31 degrees that is not the accent and drinking bubble tea oh the flies approaching my face it's okay remain calm remain <laughs> So I'm actually on my way to Tesco, my favourite supermarket in the entire world because I am doing a bit of a recipe day today. So I just want to try. Songs up. Rude. Um, I want to try a bunch of recipes today, and I have. Look at this. I need to go to the dump and like chuck all these boxes out as well in the recycling centre um because they're too big for my bin so um one of the recipes i want to make uh, i don't know if you follow fit waffle but i met her at the last my protein event i was at um like her activation day where we make content and do shoots and stuff and um, her name is eloise she is the nicest person i have ever met is that supposed to be on my roof i don't know if that's supposed to be on my roof i looks a bit dirty <laughs> um, so yeah she basically posts all these like amazing dessert recipes they're not vegan so I'm going to attempt to veganize one of them one of them is a homemade Biscoff ice cream so we have to make it so I need to go to Tesco because I have absolutely zero of the ingredients so I'm going to show you my Tesco I'm going to show you my Tesco as if Tesco is exciting <laughs> okay so I didn't actually take my camera into Tesco but you need to if you have never tried these why is it what just happened Oh no! My grapes! My grapes! I have my travesty. There's a thing called candy floss grapes. You know what? They've all just fallen. <laughs> they fell out the box. Um, and they come in this big box. I think you get them in Asda. But Asda, Tesco started doing them now. And essentially, I don't know if they're like an, an actual variety of grape or if people love like man made them but i really don't care what they've done to them because they taste so good why is this stuck right so basically it's a big box of grapes it was three pound and you can smell them as you're walking around tesco i had them in my basket oh no a single magpie for sorrow <laughs> keep your sorrow um and they are the best tasting things ever i should really wash them but a little bit of dirt ain't no kill nobody oh my god that's what it says on it. Candy floss, candy floss flavour burst. Don't know what they've done to them. Or if they literally grow like that, but um I'm gonna make this ice cream now. But what is required is two tins. You need to have oh, why can't I talk? You need to have condensed milk. So we've got the vegan condensed milk, it's the carnation, the Nestle Carnation, which is basically vegan condensed milk alternative. So I've got two of them. I got the jar of Biscoff, I already have the biscuits in there and then you were to use double cream but the Tesco I was in only had the single um, oat cream so fingers crossed it does the trick but I'm really excited to eat all these grapes are floating around this bag now mm, I will try to do dry it I'm not even moving my camera up, nor am I getting a ball. That's the best ice cream I've ever tried in my entire life. That is like thick, thick ice cream. Oh my god. Make this right now. Right now. So 
come to the range because I am trying, don't even know if you can hear me, to find a mirror for my spare room, like a big standing one. Um, Those ones are too narrow. So ideally this style, but instead of silver, is that silver? It's gold. Um, is that the style? That's the size, but I don't know if that's the frame. Don't like that frame. And don't like that frame. Hmm. No, I don't think they have any. Dun dun dun. We may have failed. I absolutely love this. Like that is a must. So this is kind of the style of some of the stuff I already have. It's definitely going for like the kind of like the baskets, some rattan, kind of Buddhas, wood, plants, gold. So I'll need to see what I've got when I go home. And maybe you guys can help me um, decide how to actually decorate the room. So I think I'm going to get this tray. So as you know, I've got the sage green kind of going on in the living room. And then my posters have got green in them. But it's also like gold at the same time. I think we'll take it and see. Um, 12 99 I think this is the equivalent of like Walmart. <laughs> but in the UK. Put the trays back and I got spring rolls instead. So essentially there's an Iceland inside the range. I'm no longer getting house stuff and I'm getting spring rolls for my dinner. I'm a hope I need I need an interior designer. I don't know how to decorate a house. Okay, we're going to ignore the fact that this room is an absolute tip because it's currently the dumping ground. It's the room that I have no idea what to do with. Um essentially I have this big couch in here that I thought there's no point in getting rid of. I've only had it for a year. It doubles as a sofa bed. I can't even close the door because there's so much rubbish in here. Essentially, the wallpaper was also just done like a year ago or maybe two years ago. Um, so I've bought bits. <laughs> like I've got some posters and pictures. I've got like lanterns and candles and just like all these kind of decorative bits and baskets. These, oh, so these are the pictures for in here. These are the ones from my bedroom. This mirror is actually the one from my living room, hence why I was going for gold, because I thought it was quite nice in here, but I don't think I am going for gold. I really don't know what to do with this room, like, at all. Like, I don't know, by the way, I had an ingrown hair on my stomach. Disgusting. And I kept picking it and picking it, so I had to put a plaster on it, and this is what we're left with, because no doubt somebody will notice it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really don't know what to do with this room. I got these candlesticks from TK Maxx, and I love them. Um, but I've got like a bunch of hanging plants, um, posters, candle bits. I just don't know what to do with it. So essentially I want this room to be like my filming room, media room. Like I want to be able to like use it for that um, and make content in here because it's quite nice lighting as you can see. Um, but I just don't know what to do. So if you have any ideas, any suggestions, if anyone is like savvy with home decor, then decor. <laughs> That was so American. Home design. <laughs> um, please do let me know because I am not of that nature. But um, I do have a full video coming next week of like the house changes I've made thus far. Bit of an update, bit of a life update. A lot of updates <laughs> next week. Um, should be up on Monday if not Thursday. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next week.